Good afternoon, everyone. It's Tanya of Cute and Cuddly Nursery. We are going to assemble Azalea today. I just have to grab her or him. I'm still leaning towards him. Um, so I'm just grabbing the limbs. And I'll grab the head and body in a moment. So here's the body. And if you saw the other video, you saw how I assembled um, the body and how I filled um, the limbs and everything and the head. The head does tilt forward just like um, a real baby would. I think I'll leave the clothes there for now but we'll go ahead and and start assembling. I'm back. I'm still at the desk. Like I said, this is where I normally do my shipping. <laughs> so Everything is cleared for now. So I've got the honey bug pacifiers. If you aren't familiar with these, these things are amazing. I'll just show really quick. So I just put my hand, finger, and hold, and then pull. And that magnet was not stuck in there very good. But you can see inside, that's where the magnet goes. And the magnet's actually fallen in my hand. And this is the uh, little cap for it. So this little um, kind of plus signy looking piece holds it in. So now I have to figure out which. So when I put the pacifiers in with the magnet, um, normally I have the magnet in first. But you can take your magnet and it'll just suck right to the pacifier. So, which is another good reason. I'm just going to leave that in there and then pop this back on. Um, or another, you know, if you need to. It doesn't, it see it's not loose in there. Just when I took it out it was loose. That's kind of weird. I don't know why it was so loose. Normally they fit pretty snug. Anyhow, here is Azalea. And I still see boy. You know, I, I don't know. I definitely see boy with this kit though. I don't know. It's just, Maybe it's just me. Okay. So what I'm going to do... Um, let's see if I can zoom in, maybe. Do I need to scoot? Uh, scoot over just a touch. Let's see, I'm gonna move the, I'll move the legs over and the arms. Oh, no, it's a little too far over. I don't know. Anyway. So, I'm just gonna get the cable ties ready. And I don't pull them super tight. Oh, you know what I forgot? I just forgot um, that I like to put plastic on the limbs. Um, and that gives a lot of mobility for the limbs to be able to turn. So I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to grab some plastic and then I'll show you how I do the plastic wrap as well. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I have my plastic wrap here. And I grabbed about, I think it's like a 12 inch square, maybe a little less. I'm not sure, but I, it's sitting on here. There you can kind of see it. So what I'm going to do is I, I like to cut just strips from it. <clears throat> and I've got tape here in my lap as well, but we'll, I'm trying to eyeball it. How the thickness or whatever, wide. Okay, so it doesn't really matter too much how wide. I'd say this is like three inches, two to three. Um, let's start with the legs. So, nope, not in, not in focus or not in screen. Okay, so you want to try to keep it from bunching up. And this is really kind of difficult with this stuff. This stuff is really thin. It's just the cling wrap. But we want it in the channel where the cable tie is going to go. And you want to kind of pull it tight, but be careful because it will rip. And so I'm just going, trying to keep it from bunching. And then just keep going around. I apologize for my tape dispenser already. It is loud. Oops. 
So this was shown, or not really shown, but somebody mentioned in one of the Reborn groups I'm in on Facebook to do this. Because other people, of course, they use like the plugs. See, I just fold it, fold it over. And then I'm gonna grab a piece of tape, so this is gonna be loud. There we go. And then I just stick it over the top and then just kind of lay it flat. Let's see. And then that is how I do my legs now. Because I know somebody was saying to put, they put super glue in here and that'll help mobility in, in the body, but I don't know, for me, like, this just works a lot better, easier, you know, you don't have to worry about, like, I I think the tape will last, or not tape, but the plastic wrap will last longer than super glue, so that's why I do that. And this is already bunched up on me, but that's okay. Trying to get it here without bunching is easier. <laughs> Okay, uh, it, well, I hold it against myself, and that way it clings to my shirt instead of clinging to itself on the way here from the kitchen. Okay, so I'm just going to grab the other, the other leg, and I'm going to do the same thing, just kind of getting it started without it clinging. It wants to cling to itself, of course. And then I'm just going to try and pull it. Like I said, you want to pull it as tight as you can. And that little heart on the leg, I do that to all of the babies that I paint, so it wasn't like requested or anything like that. This Azalea is actually available, so I haven't listed him or her yet as for sale or for adoption yet but I will soon so oops hopefully I was in um, frame for that I'm just going to grab another tape you don't want too big or too small of a piece just kind of let it wrap around the edge a little bit It the tape doesn't go past this point though it just okay should not go down here. Just stay up on the edge a little bit. And a piece came off on my hand. I'll toss that in a bit. And then... Max quit. Sorry about the dog. Okay, so... And I'll just do... I hope I have enough. I think so. Sometimes I'll start with a smaller piece and just cut it in half. And then do two limbs, and then I'll go get another piece. But since I'm doing a video, of course I want to have everything available. Otherwise I'm going to be having to put together a bunch of videos into one for you all. I don't want to have to spend too much time doing that. And I, um, or I had to get a new laptop. I don't know if I mentioned that. But my laptop died, so I need a new one, so I don't have everything. Borrowing my husband's laptop and everything's... I have my Firefox all on there, but... Like, I don't have my presets for Photoshop with my logo on it to just stamp on. So right now my logos are all... It's just me typing in my nursery name for now. So this one got quite a bit, but it's it's fine. Um, what I've noticed is fine. It doesn't really matter. Hopefully that piece that piece looks a little big. I have to cut it down just a touch. I'm making a tape pile on the side just so I can. I'll recycle it in a bit. I think I remembered my scissors before I started the video. She has really small, like, I don't know what this is called here, but this is pretty small. 
compared to the well the legs small even on this some kids have the this part is pretty big on them and it's like oh my gosh but those are mostly older kids that like that okay it looks like we have enough for another arm and the head so that's good so I don't need as much of course for the arm as I do that her head okay and grab the last arm this might be kind of a longish video, so you can, of course, skip ahead if you don't want to watch the whole thing with me, just doing the same thing to each limb. But somebody, you know, I do every or the whole thing in case somebody else wants to watch the whole process. I think I'm pulling a little too much. It's kind of shrinking. And I don't want to shrink it. And, oops. There, I did rip it. That's okay. We're at the end anyway. I'll recycle that with the plastic. And don't worry if you don't have enough to go... Over, see there's a little bit of fabric sticking out still. Just tape over it anyway. Maybe a little bit smaller of a piece here. And so that's just at the end here. So it's not, not going on to the flange down there at all. So that's okay. And then make sure that's nice and flat. And it is. Sorry about the lighting. I've got, like I said, I've got both windows open. It's just, yeah, the, this window behind me um, to my left is a small window, so it doesn't put out very much light. And then I've got the patio doors to my right where I paint, but they're, I don't know, 20 feet away or something. Uh, so I don't, they're not right close to me. It's not really doing much. And um, it's kind of cloudy today, or like partial, I guess. Um, it was supposed to rain yesterday, I heard, but it didn't. Um, but it got kind of chilly. I turned, like we have a schedule for the thermostat, and I turned all of it down, um, like a degree and a half, because I was hot one day, and I was like, man, it's already getting really warm and, and whatnot outside, and... So I turned all of the heat down for the, you know, the whole day, their schedule, and now it's cold again, so, but that's okay. It's not too bad, really. Okay, so there is the head um, flange all wrapped, and I see a piece of plastic there now. Maybe I can get it to stick in there. There we go. So that's where the body will sit down here where the cable tie is. And these cable ties that I use for, for all the babies I make are the ones, same ones that I sell in my Etsy shop. So if you need cable ties or wonder where I get them, I sell them in my Etsy shop. Um, I'm going to be carrying um, a smaller size, the 8 millimeter soon. Um, I just kind of waiting for some more money so I can order some and whatnot. But oh, and thank you so much if you have purchased from my Etsy shop. Look how big that hole is for the leg. That's huge. But some kits have huge, you know, like um, Charlemagne um, by Bonnie Bonnie Brown. Is that Charlemagne? Charlemagne? Yeah. She comes to mind when I think about it. So. Oh, I closed that a little too tight, but it fit. And see, you can see, like, it's really easy to move around. I'm going to cinch that up a little more. So we don't want any legs falling off. I have gotten um, where a lady got one of my babies for her daughter, and she was in such a panic because the head came off, and she's like, oh, no, his head came off. What do I do? And... <laughs> 
I was like, oh no, oh my gosh, you know, that's so embarrassing that, you know, a baby that I made, she hadn't had him for very long and his head popped off. And it's like, oh my gosh, I am so, so sorry. And, but it's, it's easy, of course, to, that looks like it's a little bit understuffed down here. Just for me anyway. Looks a little understuffed. Trying to move the fabric around. And, or not fabric, the stuffing around just a little. I need a little bit more. So I'm just gonna, I got the stuffing right next to me because my reborning stuff takes over a lot of the house. So I do have some stuffing right here. So it's all good. Okay, so we're going to work on the arms next. And I see that I'm out of screen. Okay, there we go. These are the 14 um, inch cable ties. These are all that I sell right now. So um, I've thought about getting like maybe five inch for the really teensies, like your 10 inch kits and whatnot. I know, oh, what's her name? Um, Shauna Clymer, is it? Um, or am I thinking Marita Winters? I don't remember. <laughs> right offhand, I'm trying to remember which um, or even Laura Lee Eagles has a uh, tiny little like 10 inch kits and so I'm thinking like I need to um, carry smaller cable ties for those type of kits um, because 14 inch is pretty big like I can understand the size if you're making like Maddie um, by Bonnie Brown maybe or I've got um, River by Alicia Toner over there as well. Bigger, bigger kits, you know, you would want like bigger zip ties, of course, or cable ties, whatever you want, to, whichever you call them. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to cinch that as much as possible. And I always test to make sure like the arm is arm or leg isn't gonna like pop out at all. That that is on there really secure. So you can see how loose. Like this is super loose. Like I'm not having to really do anything. It is really, really loose. So, I'm gonna have to make another video. I mean, like, splice this in with it, but I just now remembered that I forgot my little. Mm, sorry, I keep burping a little. I have. I drink, um, like, the bubbly, and it has nothing. I don't think there's anything in this. Yeah, nothing in it. It's just flavored. But I keep drinking this stuff. I love it. Mm. I try only to have one a day, but, um, yeah, it's, you get used to the no sugar and whatnot, you know, it takes a little while. When you do keto, it takes, like, I want to say a good four to six months before you're not wanting sugar anymore. It's, it takes a while, but it does, it does eventually happen. Okay, so I'm just trying to make that look presentable or sym symmetrical on each side and then then I like to okay let's set the body upright let's see if I can move this <laughs> okay maybe if we just zoom out a bit there we go this tripod is actually not in good shape. There's a lamp there um, that I can magnetic things to, which is really nice. So, oh, and you can't even, okay, I'm going to pause and we'll, okay, so I've adjusted the tripod a bit so we can see all, or well, most of if I scoot her back, Azalea here. So here's how the body looks from the side. Sorry, I didn't mean to. You see her arm though can kind of stay up and then it just bobs back down. Okay, so um, I haven't put her head on completely so I could still pop it off or him. I can't, can't decide if it's a him or her. Like Azalea is a girl name. <laughs> But I just can't decide if it's, 
you know, if this is a boy or a girl. It looks like a boy to me. That's what I'm thinking. But I don't know. Okay. So, we'll try some... I'll grab some clothes, but... I like to hold the baby and just see, like, okay, does the um, body look okay? Is it too big? Um, <laughs> the leg moved when I squeezed the belly. That's funny. Um, you know, is it a good feel? Is it, you know, too heavy or anything? He or she is feeling very heavy right now, but... Um, that's just me, though. I have, like, I don't know what's going on, arthritis, something, um, in the limbs, but I had that in already, and I had to stop sewing, or hand sewing, anyway, I can use machine. Okay, so, something on the body. Now, I did not make this body. This is one that came with this kit from Orly Eagles, so... And I always purchase from Laura Lee Eagles because I get the lowest number that way. So that's why. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to pause the video and I'll add this next part in as well. But I'm going to pause the video, go grab my tools that I use for cutting um, and melting the end of the um, cable tie. And then I'll show you how I put the cable ties or finish them and put them in the body. So I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back. So these are the two um, pliers that I use. Well, the pliers and these little cutters um, are what I use for doing the cable ties. And I also have just a regular lighter um, that I use to melt it. So, me, I wish you guys could see like the coloring of this baby. Um, more true, I guess, to color. Like she's looking kind of... Um, I'm trying to figure out. There we go. Sorry about that. All that moving around. Um, she looks kind of dark and kind of red. I guess I do too. In the, she's not that dark. So I leave uh, about an inch, I guess, a little longer. Um, and then I put my hand between me and the kit, and I just melt the end to where it is rounded. Um, so not, not too long, and then I use these pliers, here we go, and I grab the end, and then pull back, and then I kind of put it in, whoop, into the channel, if I can grab it, it doesn't want to go in there very well right now. Usually, this goes pretty easily. Today, I'm doing this at a different angle than normal. Alright, what are we caught up on? There we go. So I just kind of feed it in, and then, as you can see, this um, piece of fabric, you can just pull over, because these um, cable ties... Uh, that I use um, have the smaller head on them and so you can hide it in the body. Now I don't cut, like uh, I think I said in another video, I don't cut the cable tie right down because if you do and the leg or arm or you know comes off or you want to change bodies, whatever, um, you need that or whoops, no, no, not that one, this one. You need that extra, and plus, if it's too, if it's cut too short, the leg or arm, head, whatever, can come off, and then you have to replace the whole cable tie, rather than, I leave it a little longer in case a leg or arm falls off, right? And then you can just um, put the leg back on, arm, whatever, back on, and then when you put it back on, you can cinch with that little bit of um, excess. And then you can put it back on. You don't have to get a whole new cable tie. So just a tip, I guess, for those that um, assemble their babies. And you might want to think about leaving the cable tie a little long. Okay, I have fuzz sticking out of her armpit. Okay. 
So, again, just trim that. And then, like I said, I like to put my um, hand between so that, you know, I'm not going, oops, sorry about that. I'm not going to melt or burn the baby. Whoops, I keep grabbing the wrong tool. Okay. Good thing I've got both here, though. I don't have to rush to get one that I forgot or something. Okay, so even though that's really tight, like I said, you have a lot of movement um, with that plastic wrap, which is great. I'm so, so happy I saw someone post that. So it's like, wow. You know, like, I don't know, it's a simple thing, but it's like, wow, they're so smart to think of something like that, you know? Okay, so last, this is the last limb anyway. We still have the neck to do. It does help if you bend, put a couple bends in the end of the cable tie to get it to go back in. Okay, and now for the head. I'm just gonna, can you see if I, yeah, prop her up or him, him, her, I don't know yet. I'm trying to decide. Okay, so I've pulled that tight. So when I attach the head, that is the birthday that I, you know, decide. That's that's when the birthday is. That's when they've been birthed, I guess, when they have their heads. <laughs> Ow, this is a little hot. There we go. And I'm just going to grab the end there. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. I was going to mention for you that I always wonder about Marty and you hear him snoring in the background. Now that it's good weather, the sun is shining and everything, he likes to sit outside and sunbathe as much as possible. If you have a chihuahua, they love sunbathing, so he's outside. So you won't be hearing him probably for a little while. Hopefully that doesn't fall off on the other side and, and fall on my foot and cause gushing. That would be terrible. Okay, so I want to grab, um, I want to do some, let me see, I'm trying to think. I want to get her weighed, but I'll show you how I sign her tush, or his tush, I don't know. I don't know what to call this poor thing, Azalea. I'm going to sign Azalea on the tush here. I always sign, I guess, is that, yeah, that's the right side. Um, so I've got pins right here. This is... The pen that I've been using for years. Hopefully it doesn't die anytime soon. But it's just a fine tip. Um, Sharpie. And I just sign my name. That line for the D didn't want to show up. But there we go. Hopefully you can kind of see that. Um, and then, um, at this time, see, there you go. So at this time is when, um, oops, that one leg is just wonky. Here we go. So at this time is when I would go to the closet, grab diapers, things like that. So, um, I'm going to do that, but I'm going to put that, um, I'm going to, make another video and I'll have to edit them all together but that's fine. So um, when my new laptop arrives, did you know it's not supposed to arrive till May 11th? It's it's like the 24th today? 20, is it the 24th, 25th? I'll have to look at the calendar but wow that's a long time. But anyway so um, I'm gonna go ahead get the diaper. I'm gonna, I'm gonna weigh Azalea as well so we know what um, the weight is, and I always write that on my calendar over there. Um, I, not calendar where I've got numbers written in, but a calendar just kind of like I take notes. It's a whiteboard thing. So, um, I'll be back again. Okay, I'm back with Azalea. So today is April 24th, so this is her birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> I still need to um, gloss her lips and nails, but I will do that after um, we pick an outfit. So, I don't know what outfit to pick, but I grabbed, you can kind of see a pile back there. 
um, couple, or one is like a neutral, one's a like boy because it's blue, and the other is like a minty green that's girly. So, yeah. And um, I'm still I'm still seeing boy, but we'll see. Oh, and she or he, Azalea. Um, I um, came, or well, I weighed the baby. My scale's up there. Um, and Azalea is seven pounds. 7.1 ounces, so heavy baby. I didn't really like hold her very much, so I don't know if that's yeah, that's a good, it's a good weight. It's not terrible, and kind of she holds really nice. Like I said, not not too too heavy. So I also grabbed some the Mickey Mouse diapers. These are size one. I find even though, like, um, I thought size newborn was actually too small for her, so, um, these clothes, one says it's, this is, says it's a size 50. That must be, like, European size, I'm guessing, but these, this one is a zero to three months. And, oh, the, um, girl's outfit I grabbed was a newborn, so we'll see. Um... If the newborn size turns out to be kind of like too small, I'll see if I have a another, um, cause sometimes I'll grab, um, more than one, um, outfit in that, um, pattern or whatever it is, however you say. Um, trying to think. Um, the same style and pattern, I guess. So, yeah. Okay. So it's still, you see how... <laughs> so maybe even like a size 2 or something diaper might fit better. Um, but right now, that's how it's looking. So I might have to go a size bigger, I'm not sure. But anyway, we'll just leave that for now. And, um, let's turn her a little bit, or him, him, her, I don't know, I still can't decide. Okay, so, let's try the newborn first, and I also have a little headband, I actually made th this headband, and then I, I don't know if I have them available in the Etsy shop yet or not, I still have the tag on this, but... That's okay. I usually leave the tags on and then before I do like the photo shoot, I clip the tags off and um, recycle them. So let's see. And in case anyone's wondering, she was painted in golden air dry paint. And then I use Americana's soft touch varnish to um, seal the paint when I'm done as well. Okay, so how come your head's turning that way? Look at the, towards the camera, everybody wants to see you. Okay, so maybe this newborn outfit will fit after all. Looks like it might. Okay. Oh, uh, let's cut this off. I don't want, oh, there's fuzz flying. Fuzz fly. There we go. I don't want it to possibly, um scratch the paint or anything part of the tag. Wow, it actually does work. Okay. But I think maybe I don't know, I don't think I have a smaller in that one. Zero or three. Let's do the stretch test. Oh, oh. I always make sure that the you know, legs um are their her feet are kinda in there, kinda wonky. There we go. Oh, I think that looks nice, actually, that color. I like the minty color. Okay, how do we get you to look... There we go, up. At the camera. She looks really... Why is she looking so reddish? I think it's just because of the lighting in here. She's not really all that reddish. Oh, and you can... You see right here, you can see... I've got one of those, um... Salt lamps. Way over there. It's way or Way far away. Um... Somehow it's still showing up, but anyway, 
let's add the little headband as well. I don't want it to fall off the desk or anything. I'm trying to hold on to her. Okay, let me pick her up and we'll show her. See, that's more her color. There we go. I think there, see, there's a speaker right here for the surround sound. So I think that's causing her to be shaded there. Hmm. We'll have to move that next time, I think. I don't No, I can't move it right now because the tripod is on the other side. I don't know. She could be girl. But I think she could also be boy. Just trying to show her a little bit more. Okay, let's try let's try the boy clothes now. I'm curious about that one outfit. Okay, so I okay I can see girl with her dressed completely now. Whereas before I was just kind of like putting her head with the outfits and it's like I don't know, kind of see girl, but I still mostly see boy. But now that the outfit's on completely, and it might help too if I gloss the lips and nails so that it looks more finished. Right now she's. I wouldn't consider her completely done because, like I said, I need to um, still put um, the gloss on. Can you hold your legs up at all? Yeah, she can hold her legs up. Mm -hmm. I like to do the legs up um, for pictures. So you just kind of like hook there, hook the feet together, and they'll day in some cases like you heard how much she weighs she's a little over seven pounds almost seven and a half pounds actually I'm gonna clip the tag off of this as well and toss that in the back and then I'm just gonna I left it kind of long so I can find the end easier here we go okay so here's the outfit it's just a blue, it's a really light, like a onesie feel sleeper, and it's got like a blue um, polar bear on it, and it's, yeah, like I said, it's a sleeper, and it's George brand, zero to three months, so, and, um, I haven't had this outfit very long, so it hasn't even, no, oh, it's been in the closet, I was gonna say, I don't even think it's been in the closet, but it went in the closet um, with the other outfits for a little bit. So, I just want to see how big this is. Because this, like I said, it was zero to three months. And I don't think they had any smaller. Like, Walmart can be slim pickings for outfits. So, And I do kind of like that a little too big look. Especially for winter. Because it makes them look so cozy. It's not winter. But um, it's been chilly. Especially in the mornings. Um, it gets kind of chilly at night. I've been having the window open because I just love a cold, nice cold room. So, been keeping the window open at night and oh, it's just so nice. It's been really nice. Oh, I'm not looking forward to those hot um, nights though in the summer. Ugh. But for now, enjoy. Definitely enjoying um, spring and the fall when it's, you know, really nice out. Isn't that cute? Like, this is way too big. Look at this. <laughs> He's, like, swimming in it in the back. Um, but I just, I don't think that's bad, though. I think it looks kind of, like I said, it looks cozy. Even though it is big, it looks cozy. Ah, this baby is kind of heavy, but I kind of like the heavy, too. There. What do you think? Is he cute? Looks good as a boy. I really think this kit goes boy or girl. Which is amazing. I'm trying to get around that um, pink, pink hue that I'm getting, but it's kind of difficult. Let's see if I can turn turn the camera a little bit. This is more more of the truey color if I turn the baby a bit. But okay, so okay, now you're getting that glare off of that lamp, salt lamp again, but that's okay. 
I don't know. I like I like as a boy, but I also like her as a girl. I don't know what to do. I like this outfit though. Even though like I said it's too, it's too big, but it is like comfy, cozy, you know, like like this would be so cute just to put him in like the um uh what's that called? <laughs> the car seat carrier and like put him in the stroller and go out. Oh. I don't usually take my babies out though, just so you know. I don't think I want to try that gray outfit on at all. I really like this. Like I just makes me want to hold him, you know, in this outfit. Just like snuggly and stuff. Oh, so cute. Okay. So ah can you now you can kinda of see him like that. I wanted to use that um as a pillow. Um I should have put the baby nest up here. I have a baby nest that I actually, I made it. I'm not too proud of it, to be honest, so I don't use it very much, but that's okay. But this isn't overly huge. So I think this kit um, can wear, there's a hair that I'm trying to get off, there we go. This kit can definitely be in the zero to three months if you like that little bit of a too big look. Um, it's not overly huge um, like I'm not picking her up and it's you know the legs are still um, you know comfortable looking I guess and stuff so oh I just I love this kit if this baby were a smaller like preemie large large preemie small newborn definitely would probably keep this one for a little while but um, this one's gonna be available Oh, I don't think I showed the hair. I'll show the hair a bit. So here is the painted hair. I tried a new technique. Um, like I have a few uh, brushes. Oh, let me see the top of your head, there we go. So I have some brushes that I've made into like, I think what they call like a rake brush. So, um, I've taken a few of the um, bristles off. So um, Azalea does have rooted eyelashes as well. Um, just the hair is painted. And then I rooted the eyelashes, so um, it's mohair. And they are glued on the inside. What do I do with your pacifier? So here is the Honeybug pacifier. I am almost out. A lady bought a whole bunch for me the other day. Thank you so much if you're watching. Um, so I need to order some more soon. So, But I am loving this one as a boy. Do I have... Let's see. I don't... I think this one's going the other direction. Yeah, the minty colored one. Um, and then is this pink? No, oh, pink's going the other direction too. What's this one? No, that one's the other. Oh, okay, well, I've run out of pacifiers. Um, but anyhow, so, yeah, here's Azalea, and I think, I think I want to keep him as a boy. Like, to be honest, I think I want to stay as boy. Wish I could get rid of that speaker somehow. Maybe I'll turn him a little towards, the camera towards me. You can see better the coloring. <laughs> that head just flops forward. But that's normal. So, um, like I said, that's why, like, all the glass beads are pretty much in the face. Um, so, um, yeah, the baby's head will flop forward instead of, um, back, but you still want to support the head just like you would a real baby. So, yeah, I think, um, I think I'm happy with him now. So, um, I'm going to possibly start, uh, the photo shoot, um, I, I have an order to fulfill and then um, I got it. Oh shoot. I forgot what day it was. So um, yeah, I better get off of here though. It's been a long video, I'm sure. So thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for um, coming with me on this journey with Azalea. And this is the Azalea kit by Laura Lee Eagles. Um, I'm not sure what um number 
this little one is, but I think it's a pretty low number. I usually get low numbers from Laura, so... Um, but I will have this baby on my website and on Etsy as well. Um, I do have them listed a little higher on Etsy because Etsy has um, their fees. And they're going to start taking higher fees too, I think. So, um, yeah. And I don't really want to do that. Maybe I'll gloss the lips and nails in the next video so you can see it. So I'll be back with another video. Thanks for watching.